call the other one. Call or my next one. Here, keep the. Different beat juggles and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So can you show me something where you play that what that what the beat is that you're working with, and then you mess around with it? Yeah, sure. So that's the beat. I call that dancing with the drum. One cool thing I like to do with this is kind of a copy of a a Bob Moses theory, the groove canon. You work your way around, mm -hmm. kind of around the clock there until it comes back in time with itself. This is a digital version of uh, of turntables, right? Of the traditional turntables. Yeah, for up. years I used to use regular vinyl. Then I switched to um, Serato vinyl, which was time code based. But then after that, I switched to these digital motorized uh, controllers because of the tons of features. Five different cue points on this one song. Phasers, flangers, echoes. Check this out. Backwards. Not that you'd ever use that, but who knows? These are called Newmark, the, the, the V7s. There's so many different avenues that you could take it. Like, I know guys that are incredibly knowledgeable about digging for beats, and they know all the original samples, and everything was sampled, and that's their skill, and they, they know it. And um, I know other guys who are incredible, you know, just scratching, or other guys who are incredible, like, mixing to do to DJ a party. You know, the guys with the beat juggling, my focus has been improvising and live ensembles. It's been my focus. Um, I've always been more interested in playing live music and interacting with live players. You can see that in all the sounds uh, that I've compiled. I'm going to throw a beat on here, something that maybe we would play in, say, Club Delph, mm -hmm. and uh, improvise over it. 